Right, here we go. New to Hattie, or to a tatty, I think you pronounce it. Axe, it's all the way from New Zealand. Never done one of these videos before. So, here we are, to a tatty racing axes and so Right, anyway, welcome to my rather messy kitchen. Let's get this piece out here. Goes in the chest harness. This is taking like probably two months or something to come here. So here's hoping it's pretty damn good. Looking promising. That will be the cover I ordered for it. This has come all the way from New Zealand. I don't know if I said that or not. Um, they seem to be one of the big recent axe manufacturers. Let's get rid of that. So Very well packaged. All these wee bits of wood and everything to keep it all in place. Guessing this must be a local paper out there. on it or an oil of some sort on it. Yes there we are. Tuatahi I think it's pronounced. Um, there's the pin that holds the shaft in. The shaft has got um, a wooden wedge in it as opposed to a steel wedge. The other side of the pin. Oh! Looks like my name's on it as well. And it's got two numbers on it there. I'm guessing that's a serial number. Not quite sure what that is. But this is actually um, one of their work axes. It's not a racing axe. They weren't keen to sell me a racing axe, but they said they would send me sell me a work axe that has um, the wings ground off it, which are these bits. And I'm pretty sure I asked for a chisel grind on it. As I say, it's been weeks and weeks and weeks since I ordered it, but what a beast. Huge end in the handle so your hand doesn't come off. Hickory handle I believe. Yeah, I'm well impressed with that. And for those of you that are axe freaks like me, 
think is that about five pound head. All in all it is so about 30 inches long. So when you compare that with a wee Gransfors Brooks forest axe to carry my rucksack. Yeah, don't think I'll be carrying that one in my rucksack. Anyway, first time I've ever done an unboxing video on a Tuatahi work axe. Bye now.